Okay, so welcome back. So here's our last example for uh, adding signed numbers. And so a couple of things I'm going to point out. So again, so here we go. We're adding negative 2 plus 0, right? So negative 2 plus 0, again, there's, there, this is no sign, right? This is not a sign. You're not adding anything to this. So 0 leaves the number unchanged, right? So this is going to be negative 2. Right? So it doesn't change anything. Okay? So now this one here again is 4 plus negative 4. Remember, these this is an additive inverse of each other. So we know that additive inverses, when you add the additive inverse, they go to zero. Okay, but to see it, think about it. So we've got opposite signs, right? So what do you do? You take the absolute value of both, which is 4 and 4. You subtract them. Well, what did you get when you subtract them? Zero. That's it. Okay. Um, zero plus five, again, zero, leaves it unchanged. But again, if you take the absolute value of both and we subtract them, right, if you want to con consider them opposite signs, even though zero really doesn't have a sign, um, then you would get five minus zero, which is zero. Or actually, five minus zero, which is five. So you get five. And likewise here, right? So because you give the opposite sign, or you give the same sign as the larger value. So again, if you went up here to negative 2 plus 0 and did the same thing, so you take the absolute value of both, well, the absolute value of 0 is 0, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2, you subtract the 2, so 2 is bigger than 0, so you took 2 minus 0 is 2, and then you give it the sign of the bigger number in absolute value. So this is bigger, so you give it a negative, okay? So again, different ways to look at it. Now this one here, if you notice, you've got 5 plus negative 7 plus negative 5. So you notice that you've got 5 and negative 5. Well, because addition is commutative, commutative, you can switch things around. So why don't we just rewrite these and put the two additive inverses together because we know those are going to go to zero. So we can do 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 7. And now we know this is going to be 0. And then 0 plus negative 7 equals negative 7. Okay? That's it. Have a great day.